Today, we're gonna to be reviewing some tools. Hey folks, That Fix It Guy here, and it's Tool Review Tuesday. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the basin wrench. This is a plumbing essential. If you've ever tried to change out an old school kitchen faucet and didn't have one of these, man, you've probably beat your head against the side of a cabinet. I know I have. And so, I'm gonna show you some differences in these. We're gonna go through each one. I've got four different ones here, and we're gonna kind of start with the old school, and we're gonna go up to the new cream of the crop. I'll call it the Cadillac, all right? Because this thing's got so many bells and whistles on it, it blew my mind when I got it. So, come along. Let's get to reviewing. First up, we got this old school, this is like kind of a stationary shaft basin wrench. So it's just one solid bar. It's got this T-handle grip down on the end, kind of helps you with some leverage on both sides is why it slides. It's got this pivot and it's usually really tight. And that's so you can actually keep it in place. So a good rule of thumb here is that if you're looking at this straight on and your jaw right here is going up and down, if you go to the left, you clank it to the left, that actually is gonna be to tighten. So it's not lefty-loosey. I mean, it, it is essentially still, because you're still, it's righty-tighty, but your jaw is flopping down to the left to give you that right there. So you can see my thumb twisting clockwise. To the left is gonna be to take something off. And how it does that is the way these jaws are set up, right? This one single jaw that actually pivots, got a little spring in there, and it comes out, grabs onto the pipe, catches right there, and you're able to grab. So this style right here, this straight arm, common. This is what a lot of old plumbers would have in their bag. Maybe this bar right here would be a little bit longer. You never know. like. I personally have never owned one of these. I borrowed it from uh, one of my coworkers. And she quickly was telling me, she's like, you know, you'll see on there that I've had to use a pipe wrench on it. And you can see right there that she's definitely had to use a pipe wrench on it to get some extra torque. So if we switch from that and we actually go to a telescoping, same thing, same principle. It just comes with this telescoping feature where you're able to go and extend this out and you're able to make it another six inches longer than the red one. So that's pretty cool. It's very nice. And you can see on this one right here that I've bent this. I used to take two pieces of pipe and sometimes you got to get some torque on there. And I, I've totally bent the heck out of this thing. Um, you know, in the past, I've actually tried to use something else, use a crescent wrench on this and try to twist this. And I've actually broke these before, bent them to where they wouldn't even work anymore. Um, this particular one is a superior basin wrench. And I can tell you, it does not grip like a rigid. You can spend less money on one of these and it's not gonna work as good for you. I can guarantee that. The telescoping feature on this though is awesome. I mean, the evolution of this has been very cool. It's compact when you need it compact, you can bring it out when you need it longer. I really, I do enjoy that feature. And these are the only kind that I've ever owned is a telescoping style. And now I'm gonna show you a couple quick little examples of like where you'd be using this in your house. This is definitely a specialty tool, but if you're ever gonna take a faucet off or you need to get in some hard to reach places, you're gonna want one of these. So you see, if you're trying to get up in these hard to reach places, having a basin wrench to get up there
to make this work is going to be ideal because how else would you get up in there to do this if you couldn't get up there with that and if you needed it to be a little longer you could always go with the telescoping and you could just adjust this out a couple more notches give yourself a little bit more play down low and you're able to get up in there so let's just say that you needed to get down back into your washing machine. You couldn't reach it. You could just pop this telescoping out a couple of notches. Get down in here like so. Grab a hold of that. And then just turn. And that's going to definitely help you out. You got a long handle grip and you're able to just grab what you need. This bad boy, and it looks funky, and it looks like something you would never use. But I'm going to tell you, if you have a basement, or even it working in your crawl space, and you're looking to get up into a hole that's kind of hard to reach, like this bad boy, same principle. Telescoping, it's just made for bigger pipe. Right, so I'm going to show you that I was tightening up a inch and a half tub drain with this. And so that, that works out perfect. It was in a basement ceiling. I needed to get up to a nut on the overflow and I just needed to tighten that up. And this really worked out very well for me. I'm able to take this, I'm able to extend at least another 18 inches out of my reach to go up there. And tighten this up. So I actually recorded the footage for you of me tightening up the tub overflow with this. So check it out. So this is a much bigger basin wrench. And if you can't reach the whole way up there, well, you just can extend it all the way out. You can get right up here and you can use that to tighten up that nut. Pretty awesome. Great for basements above head work these things really are a big saver even this situation right here if you needed to tighten that up and you couldn't really reach it well then you could get to right there and you're able to tighten that down last but not least this is the cadillac in my opinion of basin wrenches so this thing, this is a rigid, newly redesigned by plumbers, for plumbers, and there ain't nothing like this. I'm gonna tell you, the difference in weight between this and this, it's a good amount of weight. But, this bad boy, I, it's worth it to me. This thing, It's got that extension. It's got what you need there. They've made it super nice. It's got a pretty good grip to it. The grip seems a little bit more. It's definitely a little more well-built. They put a little flashlight on it. That works really well. It's good for underneath the sink. Um, it's good for another thing that I'm fixing to show you. One of my favorite uses for a basin wrench other than using it under a sink. And then this feature to me is one of the coolest features is that they made this swivel head on the bottom so you could turn and move any which way. But you can actually take this and you can remove it. And... Turns out they put a socket on the bottom of this thing. So if you really needed to get some torque behind it, you could put a wrench on the bottom of this and man, 
you could rock that out just to have that ratcheting effect, right? This is about the same size as that wrench, but to have that ratcheting effect in a hard to reach place, um, especially when the space is already crammed underneath your sink, it's awesome. So my example for this particular wrench, well, it's still pretty new because it's hard to get back in there. So my example for this particular wrench is outside and it's shutting off the water to your house. So check this out. So another use for a basin wrench is if you don't have a curb stop key or a water meter key, then you can always shut your water off to your house with this and it just makes it a little bit easier. So you can just telescope it out. Just take this right down in here and turn it off. Pretty awesome. And this one's so awesome, it actually comes with a sweet flashlight so you can actually see what you're doing down there in the middle of the night. All right, folks. So that's the basin wrench in a nutshell. You can go with this solid metal shaft. You can get them a little bit longer. I don't think you can get them any shorter, but this is gonna be practical. It's gonna work for you. If you're just looking for a basic basin wrench to add to your kit, like this will definitely hook you up. Um, personally, I've always been a fan of a telescoping one. I like to be able to get as long as I can. The bottom of the cabinet typically doesn't have all the jumbled mess in it, right? We know that our kitchen cabinets are packed underneath, especially around the faucet area. And I like to stay away from that. Then you could upgrade to this bad boy. This is the Cadillac, right? This thing, I mean, having a light feature on it is awesome. The telescoping is cool. And then you throw in the fact that you can, this has a swivel head and you can pop this off and put a socket on it if you needed to. If you really had that tight space and you really need to get some torque behind it, this is awesome. And so I really hope you enjoyed checking out these tools today. I will post a link in the description box below for a few different basin wrenches. I can tell you that no two tools are built equally. That is positive. All right, Rigid makes quality stuff. I just know what I like. I've been using them a long time and they've been time tested and true. They're one of those things that, hey, if I'm going to buy a Rigid wrench, I know I'm gonna buy a wrench for life. And I like that. Um, I. Really hope this video helps. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, we would really appreciate it. I'm just trying to help out in any way I can and I'm hoping that I'm doing that for you. Thank you very much and have a great evening.